Hello everybody, welcome back to Creativity Imagined and today I'm going to be showing you a project that I have been working on and that project is to create a war game, a tabletop war game that will not break the bank and a bonus, it's made of Legos. Today I'm going to be telling you about the Lego tabletop war game that I'm created called Bricks of War. Okay, so Bricks of War is a um, force on force, like every, uh, like just a usual um, tabletop war game. But it's made in a way that it won't totally destroy the bank. Like, I've seen so many Lego war games. Um, this is just Legos. I'm not even talking about regular war games. Uh, I'll get into that here in a second. But Lego war games. Um, like, there's one with tanks and some other, like, some mechs, but not, like, just actual war game. Um, and just one of the units will cost you 10 to $20, and that's a little crazy. I mean, that's, like, judging, the, like, the cost of the pieces of bricks, and a lot of times there are a lot of the smaller, more intricate, and you have to know how to build them, and... You have to have quite a few of them to be able to play. And the other person has to have quite a few of them to play as what? Well. There's a stinking hair. Are you, are you kidding me? Alright. So, the other person has to have quite a bit to play as well to make it work. And, like, there's one that's such a fun idea. And it was, um, oh, Mobile something? Mobile Zero, but it was a mech game, a Lego mech game, and it looked like a lot of fun, but it required so, so many D, like, different colored D6s, it required, um, decent, like, the mech stood, um, so this is floor level, floor, here, let me just, uh, put it this way, they stood as tall as this ruler, they probably stood from here to, uh, this 1x4 right here, sorry for the shadow, that's a 1x6 and 1 to a 1x4. That's pretty tall. That's around the size. Oh. Oh. That's around the size. This right here is around the size the mechs were. And they had like moving arms and stuff and different systems. And it was, um, it required a lot of parts per, uh, unit. And, um, I don't have a whole lot of friends that have as many Legos as I do. If you can't, if you, uh, you know, can't see the background, that's just maybe half my uh, collection um, I have a lot more that's just that's not even including my um, brother's collection of Legos that's just mine I mean it's all of ours but it's technically mine anywho but um it's just they're really expensive to get into and for other people to get into it it's kinda hard but this one is super easy, and each unit will only cost you 10 cents if you go to pick a brick. But these you can find at the bottom of your Lego bins that you rarely use a lot of times. I mean, the soldiers, the base soldiers right here is just a one by one slanted piece. You can get these for days. Okay, maybe not that. It just depends on your Lego collection. Um, the airplanes. Um, it's just two pieces. I mean, three if you include the base. But three, it's just a one by one a flat. Uh, one of those one by one by ones, or one by two by ones. And a, um, one by one cylinder. And you can make them different, totally different ways. Like, um, all these other troops, besides these, because since they're just one piece, can all be made a little bit different each way, depending on how, uh, what kind of bricks you have. But, um, one of the most powerful pieces is the artillery right here and it's made with four pieces one of these with the uh, horizontal clip right here I do believe that's a horizontal clip I could be wrong maybe the vertical but I'm still kinda working on that a one by two two one by one studs and that's it that that's all you have to have and even in the back see you can have it with the um, double sided like stud thing on the back um, to make it as well so you can, it's just so many different ways a bunch of crap back here there's so many different ways to make these different troops so that way 
In place you can be like unique, like this red one has a gold top for the tank. See, this is a tank. It's just two pieces, the um, one by one or the one by two with the one stud, and a one by one round piece, or it could be a square piece. Like it could be a one by one stud, but I like these random ones. It gives a little bit of a difference and a little. Uh, it's pretty cool to look at. But like so many things you can do. It's just really awesome. Let me lift this one up because this one's on fire. So you gotta see what it looks like right there that's pretty cool I mean it's just it won't break the bank for what you get and you can have giant armies like I have I think six playable armies at least the size of this both of these have way more troops on each side this is just a I and mean, this is a probably a regular size battle so so that's definitely a pretty good plus if I do say so myself. And I kind of forgot to talk about the regular board, like tabletop war games. And um, so the miniatures that are required for those, which is, okay, let me just put it in perspective. Uh, bolt action, a World War II, because um, this is based around World War II. I mean, you can make it like futuristic, whatever you, modern day, whatever you wish. But bolt action, a World War II miniatures game. Something I'd like to get into, but I can't because the starter pack alone, I think for just one side, is $90. $90. And that's a small, like a smaller group of um, troops. And um, terrain gets expensive if you can't build it yourself. Even, but building it yourself is time consuming. And as you can see here, terrain is just a bunch of Lego bricks scattered on a base plate. So, terrain's cheap as well. So, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty good pluses. So, um, I'm just, this is just something I'm, I wanted to do. And the rules are completely free um, for download down in the description below. And I'm also still improving on this game. Um, I think this right here is all set and ready to go. I'm not, I don't think I need to make any more changes, but, uh, you guys let me know if I need to make any changes and I'll do so, update the rules, change all that, you know, but, um, oh, one thing to show uh, in the rules, uh, this is at the end of the rules, but I just want to say this now, this is the ruler that you will need. Um, I have it with a one by, uh, one by two, but really you just need something like this. With the two clickers, um, like this, you just need a base like this, okay? And one by six plates on each side. You're just going to make a click ruler. And this is going to be very important for artillery. I mean, and I count the this as a stud. I mean, you don't have to, but I do. I count this as a stud unless I do it like this. But I just go ahead and count this as a stud because, you know, what's the point? Or you can just move it here and then connect it and move it there. Whichever way you wish you can do it. Or you, um, any way you want to do it. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that this is going to be required in the game. Make sure you have this. Um, just want to throw that out there, um, to help you in the instructions. So anyways, back to what I was talking about. Rules, uh, free download, free download down in the bottom in the description again free download um, it's gonna say this now it's in the rules but um, you cannot resell this uh, this is completely free for the public um, that's just a really it's just ridiculous to me if you were to sell this I mean I spent my hard um, hard time and effort my free time which is getting very limited now to setting this up and I don't want anyone having them pay for it. The only reason they pay for it is to, I guess, donate um, to help me create some more things. But I'm I'm not asking for anything in return. The only thing I ask for is uh, for credit when someone asks. I don't. So here's the rules for it being free. Um, don't sell it. Don't resell any of this. Don't re don't sell the rules or anything. Don't take credit for what I've done. And if someone asks about the game, or is curious, or you want to let them know, the um, tell them who made it, and that's me. You can tell them um, Creativity Imagined, 
you can tell him Michael, um, you can tell him Creative Imagined, you can um, tell him the name that you'll see inside the rule book. Um, that's that's what I want. That's all I want is just a credit when asked and um, not to be sold. That's all I want. Just that's all I need for doing all of this hard work for all of you. So just want to put that out there. But um, there is updates coming. Um, I already have one made. It's gonna be um, sea battles. It's gonna be with battles of ships, and um, that's gonna have a whole another set of rules, a whole another thing that I'm going to type out and set in another video. This is all going to be part of a giant series called Bricks of War where I'm going to be going through each troop individually, uh, basics on the terrain, basics on movement cover and everything that's in the rules, just kind of talked about it. And I have ants going around my terrain. Do you see that? Wait, where did, where'd he go? Where'd he go? There. Look at that. Acting like you know you own the place. It's ridiculous. Go away. Another one. Like right there. What is this? <sighs> oh. That's a little statue. Anyways. So that's all I ask. Um, that's all I want. But there are updates coming. Like here's the sh here's a, one of the ships here. If I can show you in the bag. This is my bag of troops. Of the, this is the white troops. And uh, there's the flag for the, that you'll need to capture command posts. You'll need quite a few flags, but um, that's one of the ships right there. There's another one, and um, yeah, they're going to be pretty cool. There's another ship right there. It's going to be a lot of fun. The ship battles are a lot of fun. I just haven't typed up the rules yet to get the video set up, and I'm actually working on another one for the future. That's going to be set in future time. And it's going to have mechs and stuff. So that's going to be pretty fun. And I'm pretty excited. So that one will be coming soon. I don't know when. It's going to probably, that one's going to take a little while to get set up. But, um, so this is it. This is Bricks of War. And, um, thank you all for watching. I hope this intrigued you. Um, just go ahead and have fun. Download the, download the free templates. Take it out to Lego conventions. Um, Take it out to everyone, play with everyone, play it, make it, just play it and make it big. That would be awesome. You know how cool that would be to be part of this and just start making this a huge thing that everyone knows about. That would be cool. And you can say you were a part of it. You were, you liked it before it was cool. But um, I think it would be awesome because I'm not really able to go to a lot of LEGO conventions and like World War Brick and stuff. So if you could take this to there, that would be awesome. But um, thank you for watching and um, hope you enjoy.